the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God. Give us a hymn of Our help is in the name of the Lord. I confess to God Almighty, with the Mary of the Virgin, bless Michael the Archangel, bless God the Baptist, the Holy Apostle Peter of all, all the saints and your brethren, that I sin exceedingly in God, for it be not my fault, but my own fault, and my own most grievous fault. Wherefore, I make blessed Mary of the Virgin, bless Michael the Archangel, bless John the Baptist, the Holy Apostle Peter and Paul, all the saints and you brethren, to pray for me, the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us our pardon, absolution, and remission of all our sins. Amen. Well, let us turn again and quicken us, O God. The Lord shall have mercy upon us. And grant us our salvation. The Lord hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The ungodly lay wait for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies, O Lord. I see that all things come to an end, but thy commandment is exceeding broad. Blessed are those that are undefiled in the way and walk in the law of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. And as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. end. Amen. Young God, they may wait for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies, O Lord. I see that all things come to an end, for thy commandment is exceeding broad. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and on earth, peace and the world towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sits at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, is the Holy Ghost, our most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, that thou didst hearken to the prayers of Blessed Mary Magdalene and didst raise her brother Lazarus to life when he had been dead four days, so we may know the succor of our heard intercession. Through Jesus Christ, our Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever, one God, world without end. Amen. A lesson from the Book of Wisdom. <clears throat> I'll rise and go about the city. In the streets and in the broad ways, I will seek him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. The watchmen that go about the city found me, to whom I said, Saw ye him whom my soul loveth? It was but a little that I passed from them, but I found him whom my soul loveth. I held him and would not let him go, till I brought him into my mother's house, and into the chamber of her that conceived me. I charge you, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, by the rose and by the hinds of the field, that ye stir not up, nor wake my love, till he please. Set me as a seal upon thine heart, as a seal upon thine arm. For love is strong as death, jealousy is cruel as the grave, the coals thereof are coals of fire, <clears throat> which hath the most vehement flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If a man would give all the substance of his house for love, he would be utterly condemned. Here ended the lesson. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thou hast loved, loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Wherefore, God, even thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness. Alleluia, alleluia. Full of grace are thy lips, because God hath blessed thee forever. Alleluia. The 
Lord be with you. And with us Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to thee, O Lord. Lord. At that time, one of the Pharisees desired Jesus that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. And the old woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment, and stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee which had bidden him saw it, he spake within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that, this is that touches him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he said, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors, the one owed five hundred pence and the other fifty. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? I entered into thine house, thou gavest me no water for my feet, but she hath washed my feet with tears, and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman, since the time I came in, hath not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgiveth sins also? And he said to the woman, Thy faith has saved thee. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to thee, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And thus, sir. Pray. King's daughters were among the honorable women, thy honorable women, upon thy right hand to stand the queen for the vesture of gold, wrought about with diverse colors. God laid the foundation of man's dignity, wonder, and honor. No greater one of honor is the same. Be thou blessed by him on whose side for both water and blood. Even Christ on the Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God the Father Almighty. May the Lord be the sacrifice of the hands to praise the Lord his name, to our benefits and our the Holy Church. Amen. Let us pray. We beseech the Lord that the glorious merit of the Blessed Mary Magdalene may render our gifts acceptable in thy sight, even as the oblation of her devout obedience was graciously accepted by thy only begotten Son, who liveth and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and is one God. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Oh, Lord, Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. 
Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It, it is mean and right, right to do. It is very mean, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, who in the righteousness of thy saints has given to us an example of godly living, and in their blessedness a glorious pledge of the hope of our calling. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord, most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Almighty and ever living God, who by thy holy apostles taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we only beseech thee most mercifully to receive these our oblations, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire and continue to believe the universal church in the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree with the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. <clears throat> Give grace to our Holy Father, to Shane, our primate, to Alexander, our Episcopal visitor, to all bishops, priests, and deacons. They may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and to duly administer thy holy sacraments. We beseech thee also to save and defend this our country, and grant to Joseph, the President of the United States, to Kim, the Governor of this state, and to all others in civil authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do thy will. And we beseech thee so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice, to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, that with me guard and do reverence, they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. We must only beseech you, thy goodness, O Lord, to govern and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. <coughs> and we commend unto thy merciful goodness this congregation which is here assembled in thy name to celebrate the commemoration of the most glorious death and resurrection of thy holy Son. And here we do give unto thee most high praise and hearty thanks the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all thy saints from the beginning of the world, and chiefly in the glorious and most blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, and the only patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, whose example, O Lord, steadfast us in thy faith, and keeping thy holy commandments, grant us to follow. We commend unto thy mercy, O Lord, all other thy servants who are departed hands from us, the sign of faith, now to rest in the sleep of peace. These, O oh Lord, and all rest in Christ, we seek to grant a place of refreshment, of light, and of peace. And God say, grant unto us, unto us some portion of fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, and with all thy saints. And in his company we beseech thee to admit us. Therefore, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy, to give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, who suffered death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there, by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and to institute, and in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. We seek to hear us, O merciful Father, and with thy Holy Spirit and word, God say to bless, to sanctify these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of thy most dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> who in the same night he was betrayed took bread, and when he had blessed and given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. <clears throat> Let 
Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it, remembrance of me. Beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants do celebrate and make it before thy divine majesty. With these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and righteous death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. Entirely desiring thy fatherly goodness. Mercifully to accept as our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant the five merits and death of thy Son Jesus Christ, and to faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church maintain the mission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be reasonable, the holy and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee. And whosoever shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with thy Son, Jesus Christ, he may dwell in us, and we in him. And although we are unworthy for our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech you to accept this, our Father, to obtain service, Command these our oblations by the ministry of thy holy angels to be brought up into thy holy tabernacle before the Son of thy divine majesty, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Let us pray, as our Savior Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Deliver us, we beseech you, O Lord, from all the evils past, present, and to come, and at the intercession of the blessed, glorious, and ever virgin Mary, Mother of God, that of my blessed apostles Peter and Paul, and Andrew, Mary Magdalene, Aidan, and all thy saints, favorably grant peace in our time, and by the help of thy mercy, the ever be kept free from sin, and safe from all disquiet. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit lived in the reign of God, world without end. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. Make a consecration body for the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit may bear up the light of the Lamb of God, that, that takes away the sins of the world, and have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, and have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, merciful Lord, and trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy hand full of great mercy. We are not worthy so much to gather and to come to thy table, but thou art the same Lord, and God, he is always in mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so that we can bless the dear Son Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood. That our sinful bodies may be made clean of his body, and our souls washed through his blood, and the we may be brought him, and he loves us. Amen. Seated brothers and sisters, let us call the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.
God, the only one taken away the sins of the world. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take one of us to the heart. That more terrible gift that would come for us to our heart. My body and Lord, I eat my love, which I become for you, my own soul. Grant that spot is in me and within me. Only this pure and only sacrament has your breath. The love is serene. Let us pray. Almighty and ever loving God, we most heartily thank thee for the thou dost vouchsafe to feed us who have duly received these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. And thus assure us thereby in thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs to hope of our everlasting kingdom. By the merits of this most precious death and baptism, and we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue with thy holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be our honor and glory, grow without end. Amen. I deal with the thing that is lawful and right, O Lord, but the proud do me no wrong. I hold straight all thy commandments. In all false ways, I utterly abhor. The Lord be with you. And with us, prayer. Let us pray. We beseech you, O Lord, that we who have received thy precious body and blood, the only medicine for the healing of our souls, may by the protection of St. Mary Magdalene be delivered from all adversities. Who live us and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, world without him. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with us, the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Depart in peace. Thank, Thank you. Jesus. Blessed praise and adore for Jesus Christ, the strong glory in heaven, and all the tabernacles of the world, and the hearts of the faithful people, and this is the most holy sacrament of the altar, and his soul will be